Hello my friends, welcome back. Merlin here. And today we're going to be jumping into another Shadowverse Beginner's Guide. And today we're going to be covering... Spellcraft, or Runecraft. Now, the whole point of this deck is, based on how I've built it, it summons golems. And certain cards have their effects boosted by however many spells I cast while those cards are in my hand. So, let's take Solomon, Lord of Magic. Put a seal of Solomon into your hand and subtract X from its cost. X equals the number of times this card has been spell boosted. And then there's the Giga Hand Golem. If I have Earthright, Gain Rush, and Summon a Scrap Golem, I can also enhance it for 7 to give him plus 4, plus 4. There's Earth Sorceress, draw X cards, X equals the number of allied amulets. There's Magic Missile, Conjure Golem, Summon a Clay Golem, Wind Blast, if it's spell boosted it deals an additional point of damage. Some of the bigger cards, like Mystic Absorption, Banish an enemy follower with two defense or less. If you have 20 cards or less in your deck, banish any enemy. Uh, flip, draw a card. Then there's the Mecha Staff Sorcerer. If you have at least two other Ma Machina cards in your hand, deal three damage to an enemy. Tetra the Sapphire Rebel. Put a repair mode in your hand. Recover one player or one play point. There's also Golem's Rampage. Summon two clay golems. Deal X damage to an enemy follower. X equals the number of allied clay golems in play. If I have Earthright, give plus one plus one to all allied clay golems. Myth Cleaver. It's a countdown of three. Banish an enemy amulet at the end of your turn. Banish a random enemy follower. Crimson Meteor Storm. Lots of cards that get boosted by spells and summon golems. So, with that being said, let's hop into it. Now, what I like the best about this deck is I have cards to... Summon golems. I have cards that get boosted. I did not want that. Multiplayer beginner. There we go. We're going to stick to rotation. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, rotation is their version of standard. And we're going in. Now, as I was saying before, the whole point of this deck is to boost the spells in my hand. So they A, summon more golems. Two, deal more damage. Or B, just unload on your opponent with cards that remove creatures from the game. I can deal damage to them, damage my opponent, and I can even evolve certain followers to create even bigger, more threatening creatures. Okay, so I guess you're looking for a fight. I'm going first. We're gonna be facing Dragoncraft. So that should be okay as long as he doesn't get the cards he needs right away. So we're gonna get rid of Conjure actually no. You know what? We're going to keep. We're going to keep Conjure Twosome. I drew Conjure Golem. As soon as it lets me pull it up here. There we go. I have Conjure Golem. Summon a Clay Golem. I have Insight. Draw a card. And Conjure Twosome. Summon two Clay Golems. So, we're going to start with Insight. I get to draw a card. Spell Binders Preparation. Last words. If you have 20 or... If you have 20 cards or less in your graveyard, summon a Guardian Golem. So, we're going to cast it. And my turn. That's going to be my Earth Sigil. So, some of my cards are boosted if I have an Earth Sigil in play. I draw. Now, we're going to do Conjure 2 Golems. Or Conjure A Golem, I should say. And my turn. I now have a 2-2. Two -two. If I so choose, I can evolve it and make a 4-4. Four -four. Now, here is Magisa Ruin Fist Witch. If I have an Earthrite, summon a Clay Golem. Fanfare Earthrite 2, then deal 3 damage to a random enemy follower, then gain Storm, and then gain plus 3, plus 3. So we're going to play her. There we go. Swing for 2. Now, it looks like I was able to get my deck off a little faster than his which is perfectly okay by me just due to the fact that i know what a dragon de uh craft deck can do we've done a video on that uh check it out it'll be in the same playlist as this video also if you guys like the videos i'm doing smash that sub button and hit the little notification bell to be to stay current when i upload my videos 
Now, the one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do my best to just completely overrun him. Let's see. We got the Smilemancer. Summon an Earth Essence. Whatever an allied Earth Sigil amulet comes into play, deal one damage to enemy leader. We're actually going to do Conjure to Summon. We're going to get... Uh, just a second. What does he do? If there is no allied summon in a Terran tree. Okay. So... Trade there, swing there, swing there, and my turn. So, as you can see, with all the cards I've played, I've been able to basically take command of the board. I already have three golems in play. I was going to say I had that witch in play, but uh, yeah. Not so much on her anymore, which is okay. But I still have my uh, three two twos. He gained two life. That's going to sack that tree. So, basically, in this situation here, it looks like he's just sacking trees to draw. He's trying to get his player points boosted. Put a paper Shikigami or Demonic Shikigami into your hand. Sure. Uh, Demonic Shikigama. All right. Spell boost the cards in your hand. If he dies, sure. Now, we're going to evolve the Demonic Shikigami. Done for. He just became a 5-5. Five, five. We're going to swing for 6. Now, in my experience, I do have to say that... Dragoncraft has always been one of the faster decks I've played, right up there next to Bloodcraft. This ungrateful world will perish. And I just think it's kind of funny that my golems are actually performing far better than him. Okay, but then again, it all comes down to how you build the decks. I built my deck for kind of for cards that can do more than just a couple things, like with her. If I have Earth Sigils, anytime one comes into play, I deal point of damage to the leader. If at least one Nateran tree has been destroyed this match, gain the ability to attack two times per turn. If at least three has been destroyed, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so... We're going to get her into play. This ungrateful world will perish. And if I evolve her, she becomes a 4-6 with Ward. Yeah. That'll make him have to swing against now. me. I shall cradle the world once more. Oh. We're gonna get rid of that because I believe it has oh, death touch. Yes. Yep. Oh. My love. Oh. And I can't attack anything else in my turn. So basically, as you see, I haven't even been touched yet. He swung at me. Well, he hasn't swung at me, but I've been swinging to him, whittling him down to five life. And I haven't even gotten to the top tricks of the deck. Well, there you go. Now, the whole goal of this deck, as I've said before, is to summon golems and spell boost. With the spell boost, if I happen to draw cards that, per se, would normally not or would normally get boosted by damage, they deal more damage. And with that increased damage. I'm able to take his life total down pretty quickly. And he's only got three out of seven. I've also added cards that allow me to draw. That's how I was able to get to my golems so fast. Along with other cards like the Smilemancer. And the Mecha Staff Sorcerer. Now the Mecha Staff Sorcerer I'm not going to play until I have some Machinas. But at least... I think I've pretty much got him here. Okay, so she evolved. And I have to take her down before I do anything else. Summon Snow. Okay, so we'll drop her. Next, we're going to draw... Earthright gain rush and summon a scrap golem. Hell yes. There. Alright, we're taking that down. 
Never again. Please, and yourselves. that's basically it in a nutshell. I've been able to spell boost my summon snow, so I'll be summoning two snowmen. <laughs> you basically, this deck is like elemental golems. Snowmen, scrap golems, clay golems, all that shit. Be gone. Okay, now he has a 6-6. Six, six. It'll have Rush with Death myself. Touch. It's probably going to go up to my 4-4, four, four, I'd imagine. Or 4-2, I should say. And there she goes. Save yourselves. Okay. I see a lot of nature and trees, though. And he actually hit me. My move, draw. Okay. Return one to your hand, then transform a random enemy far with the highest attack into a snowman. Ice right. is snow joke. Snowman? Golly, it's chilly here. Swing. Swing. At this point, it's all about just whittling him down at this point it's w really too late in the game for him to really pull away I've been able to kind of for lack of a better term I've been able to kind of dominate the match get him down to a pretty There's reasonable no level flesh. okay now as I was saying granted he's got a 6-6 six, six basically death touch or bane in play and all he does basically is draw from the deck, which is actually a great strategy for the Dragoncraft. And that'll be probably a strategy I will address in my upcoming videos. Now, for upcoming videos, guys, for Shadowcraft, I'm going, once I finish covering the basics of each deck, I'm going to start a playlist that features the advanced decks. So you, and I'll also include descriptions in the links below to the playlist. So if you guys are interested, you can always check it out. Um, I'm also going to include a link, or yeah, a link into the description below about this playlist. And I'm going to be adding a new deck tomorrow. And I think I'll have only one more deck after that. And then I'll have covered all the basics. And then we'll be moving on to advanced. And from there, we'll be moving on to more ranked play, uh, card review, deck tech, all that fun stuff. All right, my move. Perfect. Uh, blast him away. My mechanical staffer. You like the cold? Bye bye. A worthless endeavor. You like the cold? Swing there. And my turn now. I'm more than likely going to lose this match, which is kind of sad. I had him on the ropes until, yeah. But then again, when you're drawing out your deck, basically, yeah. Anything's possible. Especially when... Now, I've noticed he loaded his deck with a bunch of cards to remove other creatures like that. And he's got me right there. Okay, so with that being said, I did lose the match. But I'm still pretty impressed that I was able to flood the board with golems so quickly. So we'll go to home. And that's basically that deck in a nutshell. We'll do one more look at it. Deck. Rotation. Now I stick to rotation because rotation is standard. So as you can see, my peak is about 2. 2 to 3. Everything after that is just kind of... Here and there's. So let's hit edit the deck. Now for this deck we're running one Spellbinders Preparation. No, 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 no. Uh, one Talisman Disciple, two Insight, one Solomon Lord of Magic, one Giga Hand Golem, one Earth Sorceress, one Magic Missile, one or two Conjure Golem, one Wind Blast, 
one Mysterian Wisdom, one of the Ruin Witch, one Smile Mancer, one Passionate Potioner, or Potioner, two Summon Snow, two Mystical Absorption, one Sagius Core, two Me or Mecha Staff Sorcerers, one Tetra the Sapphire Rebel, three Conjure Twosomes, two Frost Rune Knights, two Golems Rampage, one Disintegration, one Viridian Magna, one Myth Cleaver, three Crimson Meteor Storm, one Techno Lord, one Olivia Black and Wing, one Demon Caller, and one Flame Destroyer. Now, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for dropping in. And as always, if you like the video, smash that sub, hit the bell, be notified, and stay current when I upload my videos. And I will catch you guys on the next video.